Hi there, Gary Steerman. Time for another update from Prophecy in the News. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of February. If you're going to get anything done in February, you better hurry. It's fleeing fast. And this is a year, I guarantee you, there are going to be a number of phenomenal events unfolding all over the world. You need to keep your eyes on Scripture, and you need to keep praying, because things are happening in this world that uh, have been predicted by the ancient prophets, and I think you know it, and I know it. We have, again today, in studio with us, Mike Hoggard, and it's always great to talk to Mike Hoggard, because he's just a fountainhead of ideas, and uh, all you have to do is just say, hi, Mike, and he just begins to talk, <laughs> right? Well, it's great to talk to you, too, because we, we share so many ideas in common, and it's just been, it's been good to fellowship. You know, we've been offering uh, four of Mike's videos. Uh, uh, on our programs. We've done a, a couple of programs which will appear at a later date, uh, and we've done an update. Mike was here yesterday with us. He's here today. I uh, hope maybe I can keep him for another day, but uh, we've been talking about his videos. Uh, yesterday we talked about the UFO Chariots of the Beast video in which I think characteristic of Mike, he has taken the UFO question back to the Bible, and I think I totally agree with you. If, if you start with Scripture, you right. can't go wrong. That's exactly right. There's the, God is the revealer of deep and secret things. He said that in Daniel chapter 2. And the, whole, the, the Bible ends in what's called the book of Revelation. God, God wants to reveal things that are unknown to mankind, things that the devil wants to keep secret. The devil wants to conceal who Jesus is. He doesn't want anybody to know it. God wants to reveal that. God even reveals heaven to us. But he also reveals the supernatural realm. He shows us what's going on behind the scenes, things that the devil wants to keep covered up. God wants to show his people, even Christians, we operate under the spirit of discernment, where the Holy Spirit will show us things that are going on around us, according to the scriptures, that otherwise we wouldn't know. But in order to see it, you have to read the Bible. Exactly. It's, just, it's that simple. It's and you that know what, simple. Mike? Uh, we're both pastors, yes, and we both teach the Bible. Mm -hmm. And 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 when I when I teach the Bible, and I'm pretty sure this is true in your case, we teach lots and lots of Scripture. We read Scripture. We read it as the absolute truth and reality. Amen. A and and you know, a, a lot of churches today are drifting away from that idea. Uh, they're, they're substituting other things for Scripture. If you're the devil and you want to draw away followers to you and have people worship you, which he does, Isaiah 14, Ezekiel 28, 2 Thessalonians 2, I mean, here I am giving scriptures to back up what I'm saying. If you're the devil and you want to get people to worship you, you have to get them away from the truth. You have to get them away from the Word of God. And sadly, here's what I see. And this almost happened to me. The devil tried to get me away from the Bible in pastoring. And what we're seeing nowadays with the, with the mega churches and the, the cheap, easy believism in the churches is that they're moving away from the scriptures, and that's dangerous. It's always, always dangerous because the devil always has a replacement for it. Now, all of Mike's videos, and this one happens to be uh, American Goddess, uh, it features on the cover a picture of the Statue of Liberty, and Mike goes to great lengths, scripturally, I might add, to show how the American goddess really has her roots in the dark side and as, as uh, exposed completely in scripture. She is uh, the archetype, if you will, for Mystery Babylon, uh, Mother of Harlots. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true, and, and, and the Bible is going to teach you. Um, if you read the book of Proverbs, you'll see two women mentioned in the book of Proverbs. Oh, yes. You'll see, a, you'll see the, the, the virtuous woman, a good woman, a godly woman, wisdom. Yeah. You'll see a strange woman, a strange and, woman. And, you will see, and, and the book of Proverbs will give you wisdom on how she operates. She likes to operate in the dark. She likes to conceal. But her ways, rather than being the path of life, her ways, her steps will lead and take you into hell. And so, and she loves images, she loves idols and statues, and that's what the Statue of Liberty represents. It represents the Luciferian idea that's being shrouded in mystery, and actually the ascension of man into Godhood, the way that Lucifer promised in the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter 3. Yeah, and, and you see references in the Old Testament to uh, women baking cakes for the Queen of Heaven, mm -hmm. for example. 
same personality. You see Diana of the Ephesians in the mm -hmm. New Testament, same personality. You see the goddess all over the place. And in this video of American Goddess, you see in depth and detail, in a way that only Mike Hoggard can do it, he's got a way of, of looking at and connecting strange disparate facts, taking this one from this part of Scripture and this one from this part of Scripture, bringing them together, and you're going to be, uh, I think, thrilled to watch. Uh, let's go to uh, the next video here. This one is called Bilderberg, The True Story. Now, who hasn't heard of Bilderberg? Uh, actually, Bilderberg is a place. Yeah. It was, a, it was the Bilderberg Hotel and started out, I think, the, the prince of Denmark or something like that wanted to have a meeting to, you know, to, basically it's essentially about making more money. How can we make more money? Of course, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And every year, somewhere in Europe, somewhere, all of a sudden, the president's gone for a week, and it's not announced. Where did he go? All of a sudden, you'll have White House, mm -hmm. White House officials taking you know, some, a trip to Europe for some reason. Um, but we, we see a list. There's always a list. that the, They don't mind you knowing who's going there. It's just that once you get to the location, nobody's getting in that meeting except who is divided. And so you'll have presidents. You'll have kings. You'll have you'll have people who run political think tanks and economic think tanks showing up you'll have people from the press showing up over there and you'll have and no one talks about the meetings that they had the agenda that they have no one talks about it i wasn't invited gary they didn't put me on the list <laughs> to go and talk about what was at the bilderberg meeting so how is it that i can sit here and know What's going on? Well, you just look at the list. Number one, I believe in conspiracies. Psalm 2, Psalm chapter 2, talks about the kings of the earth uh, take counsel together. That's a conspiracy. They're meeting around a table, and they're talking about, number one, against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder. And so God is sitting at that table listening to what they're saying, and he knows what they're saying. is recording it in the scriptures. So you follow the agenda of the kings and the princes of this world, the principalities that Paul referred to. You look in the scriptures, and you follow, according to scriptures, what their agenda is, and you'll understand what they're talking about in the secret room. You look at the, uh, the, the scholars and the, the people who influence politics and money in this world. Those are the counselors that the Bible talks about. And you study the counselors of the scriptures and you'll understand what they're counseling about. It's all there in the scriptures. I, I wow. love it. Well, I mean, you've sold me. <laughs> how, about this, how about this one? Now, this is called the Cult of 33. Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes in length, or thereabouts, mm -hmm. in, in which you discuss the number 33. You've got on the cover of this a, a double-headed eagle mm -hmm. uh, with uh, a triangle. Inside the triangle is the number 33. What's the significance of that? And I, I ask that knowing we only have about a minute <laughs> left, and, and it's going to take an hour and a half for the true answer. It really does, but it's the, the study of numbers to me was something I, I wanted to avoid for a long time because I'm going, I've heard of numerology and the devil worshipers. But two verses come to mind, and I'll give you this. Revelation 13, 18, here's wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number. And I'm going, okay, well, that's one. That's one witness. Yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, Solomon said, I was looking for wisdom. He said, lo, this have I found, saith the, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find the account. In other words, he said, I, he found wisdom by counting. And so I count things in the Bible. The Bible enumerates things. It gives you a list. The Bible will go out of its way to give a number. The Bible will tell you, uh, you know, we know that Jesus was 33 years old. Why was he 33? What's in the 33rd chapter of the Bible? What's in the 33rd book of the Bible? Right. Um, how the human body is designed. And I go into practically all the detail that I know concerning that one number, 33, and show you both what it means in God's realm, which is absolutely amazing, and then how the devil distorts it to bring about the beast of the last days. And that's one of his numbers, 33. And, and I guarantee you it, it is amazing. All you have to do is look at Scripture uh, with the leading of the Lord, and you're going to see things that will, to use the uh, modern expression, blow your mind. Yeah. And you don't happened. need drugs. <laughs> <laughs> How true. And uh, I've got these four DVDs. We're calling them the uh, Mike Hoggard package. You have the 800 number on your screen uh, right uh, in front of you at the moment. Ask for the Mike 
Hoggard package when you call. It includes a year's subscription to Prophecy in the News magazine. And it's yours for only $79.95, $115 value. And these four DVDs, and I wouldn't say this if it weren't true, you know me, you've been listening to me for years, these are above average, way above average in content. In fact, you're going to find yourself searching around for a pad and pen. Wait a minute, I've got to take this down. It's, uh, it's mind-boggling. And Mike, thanks for bringing the DVDs to us. It's, uh, it's wonderful and always good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, Brother Gary. And blessings to all of you uh, in the family of the Lord. Uh, we, uh, we pray the, the best for you. Uh, don't forget to pray for us, by the way. <clears throat> we face many challenges, uh, as do all in Christian ministry, and we need the strength that comes from your prayers. Don't Amen. forget to pray for prophecy in the news. And we know that Jesus is coming soon, so keep looking up. <laughs>